How's it going Star Seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to another 30 minutes to buy review, the series where I play a game for around 30 minutes to an hour, summarise the premise of its gameplay for you and then based on my experience let you know whether or not I'd be happy paying for the game. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video then do me the honours of hitting that like button as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and if you watch my content regularly but are not yet subscribed then please consider doing so. Now in today's review we're going to be taking a look at A Juggler's Tale, a story driven puzzle platformer whose story centres around a young girl called Abby. Tired with a lifetime of abuse in a travelling circus, Abby makes a break for freedom, escaping the confines of a cage and fleeing the circus, however the outside world presents many dangers that Abby must overcome, and all the while she is pursued by the cruel circus master who isn't just about to let her walk free. Now the story of the game is presented as though it were a puppet show with the narration delivered by the puppeteer in the form of short rhymes, while many of the game's characters including Abby are the marionettes that he's controlling. The developers have played on this concept of Abby being a puppet and cleverly built it into the gameplay with it playing a key role in many of the game's puzzles and I really liked how unique this concept was. I did however feel like the whole marionette and puppet theme could have been played on a little bit more and could have added a little more variety to the game's platforming sections, but it offered some interesting gameplay mechanics nonetheless. Now gameplay in A Juggler's Tale sees you controlling Abby and working your way through levels from left to right. Its core platforming mechanics keep things simple allowing you to climb up ladders and ledges and jump over different obstacles with Abby swinging over larger gaps using the strings and throughout the game you interact with different objects which include things like the pushing and pulling of boxes using cranks to move things and lighting torches which can also be thrown. While there wasn't anything overly unique about the platforming, elevation is actually used to good effect and I like how Abby's circus experience was integrated into it as she balances across tight walks or swings between ropes. Now the puzzle elements of the game generally see you working out how to progress forward through levels and many of these involve working out how to remove obstructions which your strings get caught upon though the strings themselves are also used at times to manipulate certain puzzle elements. While I'm not going to go into any details on the puzzles to avoid spoilers, I will say that overall I did find them to be relatively simple, so don't go expecting anything overly challenging with this one. In addition to the puzzles, there are also sections containing enemies which can result in you having to start over from a checkpoint, and while some of these confrontations do involve a little bit of puzzle solving to get through them, there are also sections requiring to sneak past enemies or run away and try to escape from them, and these added a nice change of pace to the game. Now a juggler's tale is split up into five different acts as Abby makes her way through towns, villages and the wilderness and in total this equates to about an hour and a half's worth of gameplay if playing casually so it's not a very long game. I played for around 45 minutes taking me to around the halfway point and while I did experience a couple of mildly frustrating sections which saw me die a few times, overall I'd say the game offers a pretty casual puzzle platform experience which most people should find accessible. When it comes to the audio and visual side of things, I really enjoyed the dark furry tale atmosphere of the game which felt very much like it could have been plucked straight from a brother's grim story. The music and sound effects were well done and I thought that the environmental visuals really brought the game to life with some wonderful panoramic views and clever use of the camera, though I will say that I thought the lower resolution textures did make things look a little blurry so tailor your expectations when watching the eShop trailer on this one. In all though, A Juggler's Tale offers a short but enjoyable puzzle platforming experience. It has some interesting puzzle mechanics, its story is well presented and engaging, and if you're looking for something to fill an error or so with that isn't too demanding, then I highly recommend giving it a go. And that about does it for this 30 minutes to buy review of A Juggler's Tale on the Nintendo Switch. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and game on.